Hello, I'm Franz Wieninger. Today I want to talk about the climate, soil and geology in Burgenland, especially in Horizon, Schopron and a little bit about Eisenberg. So, we are located exactly on the border between Austria and Hungary. Uh, the wine region in Austria is called Burgenland, in Hungary it's called Schopron. The climate is very easy to explain, so I will start with this. How more we go to the east, how more we have the Hungarian climate, so the Bononian climate coming, that means it's warm from the Bononian climate. How more we go to the west, how colder it gets from the climate, because here are the Alps. Uh, another influence on the climate is the lake, the lake Neusiedlersee. The lake is uh, a very flat lake, so this means the lake is heating up on the day and at night it gives the temperature back to the area. That means everywhere where you are close to the lake you are warmer than when you go to the west where you are more far away from the lake. So uh, another influence on the climate is the altitude. The lake is about 100 meters sea level where my vineyards in Schopron are about uh, 200 meters, so about 100 meters above the lake. Uh, the vineyards in Horizon, here the village of Horizon is on 230 meters sea level. So it's actually like, like a kind of a plateau which is 130 meters above the lake. And the highest vineyards here in Horizon, so like the Bodegraben or the Kalkoven, they go up to 340 meters sea level. And also, like I said, we are here more to the west. And here on the west, it's actually here, the uh, Buckliche Welt, it's already an alpine area, the climate comes over from the west. So how more you are to the west, how cold it gets. Uh, as a next, I want to talk about the uh, soil. And I will start with the geology first which is a uh, kind of logic because soil is very influenced from the geology, from the origin. So about 340 million years ago, the Alpine mountains were formed. And here to shop from the Ödenburg hills actually are part of the Alps. So that means the geology here, we have Gneis and Mika schist, which is a uh, very hard soil. For sure, it's very old, so very long, compressed, and uh, it's slated, so it breaks into slates. So my vineyards here in Schopron are located on this soil. Another soil type we have is on the Kalkofen. Kalkofen is kind of like a slope, a south slope. Uh, it's in the village of Ritzing, and in the big, in the ocean time, so in Tiazia, here on this slope. The chalk, so limestone, was put on. So it's 130 million old, and we have limestone soil. Limestone is much softer, but it's also stone, so it's also hard, but not so hard. It can store water a little bit. And what's very interesting, the pH of the soil, which comes from limestone, is totally different than the pH, which comes from the Gneiss and Mika schist. And the third geology we have in this region is here in Horizon. Horizon is like I said a plateau, so uh, Middle Burgenland, around the Middle Burgenland are the mo are mountains and in this plateau uh, soil was washed into the plateau with the rivers. So here we have loam, mainly loam, on some slopes, on the top of the slopes we have also we find the schist of the Alps, but generally we have heavy loam, 3 meters, 4 meters heavy loam and sometimes we have clay. So not many stones here, not good drainage of the soil. So the soil is very, um, how to say, it's very wet and soft and high in nutrients, where how more stones you get, how uh, less nutrients or harder it is for the wines to get the nutrients. I will make a blog article about how I see the roots and how the roots are, are taking in the nutrients or the homes from the soil later on. So now we can also differentiate the soil by temperature. What I want to say is like just imagine you're standing on the Steiner, very stony soil, and you have this Gneis and Mika schist. 
and on this knies and mica schist, the sun is shining on and the soil is heating up. So at night, this soil gives heat back to the, to the, to the surface, so back to the wines. Uh, the Kalkoven is a middle thing. We have brown soil with these limestones, so it's heating up, but it's not as hot as the, the schist. And it also stores more water, where the schist, all the water goes deep down into the ground. And on the Horizon soil, we have very cold soil. So we have a cold region here and a cold soil. Cold because uh, the loam brings the water higher up, so it sucks the water, the ground water higher up. And through this, the soil stays cold. Through the evaporation of the water, the soil stays cold in Horizon. And so we have a very cold soil here, high uh, violet color in the wine, low pH, but also we have a lot of nutrients in the Horizon soil. And uh, how more we go up to the mountains, so Bodegrab, Neckenbach, very similar to the Hungarian soil, to the Schist soil, how more we go up to the mountain, how drier the soil, how hotter the soil, less nutrients, harder work for the wines. Okay, that's it for the moment. Thanks for listening and uh, see you soon. Bye.